Well, dramatic time capsule moment. Uh, whoops. Earth Man is no longer a thin young uh, man. Uh, 67 now? Oh. He ain't got the upper body strength anymore to pull himself into the archives chamber. I could give him a lift. If only I had a human body. Well, at most, Earthman can stretch on his tiptoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the base of the curtain of moist delictite. And hook one arm. Fortunately, he has really long, sort of long monkey arms that come down his hands almost like come down to his calves. He is a freak. Uh, 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 so, with these long monkey arms, he, he feels around up there, just like he felt around under the bed. He scooped out the sex diary. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, he can scoop anything that's near uh, the entrance to the archives chamber with his uh, amazing ape-like uh, limb. Yeah, now nah, white haired, balding, huh, Shiva? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he blindly feels around with his extended arm. Uh, look at he he's crazed with frustration at this moment. He's come a long way for this magic moment. Uh, so he just jumps up. Like an idiot trying to escape a padded cell with just a little grilled window. He jumps right, try to jump through that little window. He needs whiskers like cats. They don't go places that touch their whiskers. Right, little purr? Big purr? <clears throat> yeah. Well, he got himself stuck. Bad luck, that. Stuck between the cliff, uh, the inner cliff, and the stalactite curtain. He got stuck. Halfway up, he jumped up and then got stuck. God. Uh, gives me a fright because imagine an innocent future hiker coming upon a half-transmogrified, mummified corpse of him stuck. I mean, there ain't any smartphones around here to call for help. That would be a macabre discovery indeed. Oh, yeah. Uh, but Earthman, he's been anticipating this dramatic moment for 30 years, and stuck as he is, he intrepidly extends his weird arm uh, deeper into the archives. Uh, and his fingers touch a hardcover book? <laughs> Not like his sex diary. A paper mache. Only guts left. Book. Ooh. And a few other things. What is it? Okay, like a blind spider? He he he, uh, he maneuvers his uh, spinning arm, spider leg arm, uh, and maneuvers all his stuff closer so it can uh, like fall over the edge uh, of the overhead archives entrance. Leather pouch tumbles down on his head. <laughs> Are these the rare rubies he brought back from Sri Lanka? Love up in candy that has the tooth of the Buddha. Oh, uh, no. Actually, a bunch of rusty nails. Uh, instead. <laughs> well, and, and down come this hardcover book. <laughs> uh, uh, what is that? Uh, wow. Uh, the Life Divine by Sri Aurobindo. Well, 
a wooden handle, small handsaw handle he plays 30 years ago. He pulls that free, <laughs> ricochets off the stalactite back down into the inner chamber. Oh. He struggles to unjam himself and finally <laughs> unceremoniously slides ah down the stalactite curtain and he grounds as it rips open his shirt and lacerates his chest. His torso looks like he's been clawed by the talons of the demon. Wrathful demon. He doesn't even know. He's so ecstatic, the earth man, to be reunited with his sacred book, the Hindu Renaissance Masterpiece. So, he does a little micro oracle moment and flips it open at randomly to see like what is up for him like now in his life. And uh, he just kind of reads uh, the one paragraph uh, from Sri Aurobindo. Okay, quote. Okay, Sri Aurobindo, quote. All that is there is a clashing... Uh, Clash, yeah, of clashing mental ideas, urges of individual and collective physical want, Jeez. Uh, uh, and need, uh, vital claims and desires, impulses of an ignorant life push, hungers and calls for uh, life satisfaction. From who? Oh, uh, uh, from individuals, classes, nations, a rich fungus of political and social and economic nostrums and notions, a hustling medley of slogans. <laughs> we need an earth government fast. Uh, of, uh, on, and panaceas, uh, of which uh, men are ready to oppress and be oppressed, to kill and be killed, to impose them somehow or another by the immense and too powerful means Placed at their uh, his disposal, in the belief that his, his way is out to uh, th this is his way to something ideal. Look, this book is eleven hundred and forty pages. This is one paragraph picked at random. <laughs> he loves this book. Uh, what's that, Earthy? Oh, I am Earthy. Yeah. Uh, What's that? Uh, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna like take a breath because I'm the goddess. I can go through the the uh, needle of the eternal moment. Yeah. Back to this, you know, this story, and then, like right up to yeah the the thing you know that I read in the newspaper today. Yeah, uh, Iraq has ordered all American troops out of Iraq after they off that uh, Suleiman guy. You know, with the Jones strike outside the Baghdad airport? This is what Sri Aurobindo is talking about. Rich fungus of political and uh, social and economic notions and nostrums and a hustling medley and which uh, men are uh, brainwashed to oppress and be pressed, kill, be killed, yeah. Look okay. Better get back through the eternal needle into the oh, oh. fun story. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm concluding my investigation. A little final reflection. Uh, um, look at uh, something really charming. Okay. Let's let let's lighten up here. In a few hours in the morning only. The, Tur the sun rises over the Turkish mountains, the Taurus mountains around the coast. That's only 12 kilometers away. 
And at this special moment, the light directly goes through this like little narrow slit, you know, like about <laughs> 30 foot passage, right? And uh, it strikes, direct sunlight strikes the back of the womb chamber cave wall right above the fireplace, fire little fireplace pit. Yeah. Uh, but to meditate deeply, you know where you got to go. Beyond the vagina veil, mm -hmm. and before the stalactite curtain and the archive chamber, mm -hmm. inner chamber, eternal blackness of Brahma. Oh, uh, well. Uh, Art, Ganesh K. Pilgrimage. Uh, <laughs> stirring up intense emotions. Uh, well, our str initial strong emotion is... Uh, <sighs> profound relief. Because nobody has trashed the cave. Desecrated it. Scrawled junk graffiti all over the walls. <sighs> she hasn't been desecrated in the last 50 years. Yeah, graffiti. No garbage strewn around. That would have been heartbreaking. Uh, inner space remains absolutely pure. Holy. Mm. We're extremely grateful that no unsavory humans uh, Discovered the cave by half and chance, except maybe for those two lovebird hikers. You know, they were in love. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And remember that Earthman himself got lost this morning trying to find his own cave. I mean, it's that remote, huh? And he is proud as a Zadu. That the remoteness of the cave that he found himself 50 years ago has stood the test of time. Oh, yeah. <laughs>